Good day, everybody. So we are Kant's Care Manitoba, and we are here to present essentially our implementation of ITB2 to facilitate a cancer informatics platform. With us today, we have Marion Tividad as the lead on this project. We have Jajin Bao, also going by JJ, as our primary programmer, and myself, Alexander Sachs, as the backup slash secondary programmer. So today I'll be discussing a bit about us as an institution, a little about the research side, kind of what the background is that describes the challenges we're currently facing and why we are looking to bring in ITB2, kind of what the objectives are of bringing in ITB2, and what we hope for that to look like at the end. Then JJ will discuss some of the details around the actual modules that we wish to implement, and also the integration we're looking to implement for REDCap. A bit about us. So we are in Manitoba, within Canada, where we do utilize universal healthcare. We are situated just north of North Dakota and host a population of just over 1.35 million, as per the last census. So a bit about the institute in general. We are Cancer Care Manitoba, and we are essentially provincially responsible for everything that has to do with cancer. Everything from the screening at the forefront, to the patient care and journey once it's diagnosed, to either the recovery or palliative care at the end of their journey. We are also responsible for doing the research into every one of these stages, and we work very closely with very multidisciplinary crew to achieve all of these mandates. More specific to this conversation is going to be the Institute side of Cancer Care Manitoba. And this is responsible for all the research that is being done, everything from the micro level of cell biology and genomics to the macro such as health services and informatics. This is the side of Cancer Care Manitoba that will be primarily benefiting from this project. So, why do this project at all? Well, the current state is we essentially have researchers fending for themselves. It is the responsibility of each researcher to essentially find the various data sources that they would need to satisfy their research objective. And the issue around that is that there are just so many out there, and each database is either different in terms of the type, whether it's SQL Server, MySQL, uh, Sybase and a host of others, and there's also differences in terms of the data that is hosted within, both in terms of the types and the context, which is all important to understand when you're doing the extraction, cleaning, and analysis. And so the difficulty is that when you have maybe half a dozen different researchers responsible for all these duties, there are potential discrepancies. They may not find the same even if all six researchers are trying to achieve the same research goal, they might find different data sources, they might clean those data sources differently on import, and they might do different analyses and transformations to do their actual analysis. We hope to automate essentially a lot of this to make it more repeatable, which will help both from a research end in terms of consistency and from an efficiency standpoint in terms of having our researchers actually spending their time on research as opposed to cleaning. So how do we essentially hope to achieve this? Well, we hope to define essentially a minimum data set to get started with, then hope to link all that data together through our essentially malignancy-centric data, primarily tumor ID, and we hope to achieve this through essentially an ontology that is cancer specific. We have Mary as our primary contact on that, who is working with a few others from the working group. And we hope to essentially embed all of the repeatable processes to extract, transform, and load into code so that we can basically do this repeatedly and then to do this process to bring in the data to a central repository. From there, we'll essentially have the researchers load up the data into whatever analytical application they wish, whether that be SAS, R, Stata, or Python. We essentially tend to keep this up to date on a monthly basis, 
and then to later integrate this with REDCap as well. So what do we hope for this to look like? Well, we hope to essentially have all of our different data sources pulled directly into ETL, basically a direct dump. From there, we'll essentially do our cleaning, transformation, and our loading via SSIS into the I2B2 data repository. And this repository will essentially be our clean data set from which our researchers will draw from through either SAS or another analytical application or the I2B2 web clients. And a shout out here to the working group who has helped us a great deal in terms of getting us all set up and also put us in touch with a couple of, uh, well, one consultancy agency specifically known as Axiomedics, who then got us in touch with their Canadian partner, Logibeck. And they've helped us essentially set up a few of these things. And from here, I'll pass it on to JJ to discuss the details about the design modules.